Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, okay, because there are no clocks. Things happen as they should. Um, not every reading is for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading may or may not be for you. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, happy winter solstice. So what do we have? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? December 21st through the 27th. Destiny. Wheel of Fortune. So this is a fortunate change of course. This is good luck is on its way. This is the wheel of life bringing you something positive, a positive change. You could find yourself at the right place at the right time and get something uh, very fortunate out of the encounter, put it that way. Um, this is a positive change that is coming. Destined change. This is the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new one. Um... Your life is about to change in a very positive way. One karmic cycle is over. Something very good is about to happen, put it that way. It may take a minute, okay? This is the beginning of this change. The beginning happens this week. The wheel is spinning right now. Okay. That was quick. Happens to be wheels. Things could happen, you know, circles. Something could happen quicker than we think. It's meant to be, obviously. You don't need to do anything. It's just going to happen. I didn't even need to shuffle. Now, four is universal guidance. We have four cards that fell out. It's universal protection. It's angels. Let's see if we can get there. We go. Ant, work, achievement, success. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Vine, seek out information that will help you. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So you may be deepening a friendship with someone, or you do already have a deep friendship with somebody. Um, this friendship is never going to die. This is, this is something that you're probably going to have forever. This, you know, sometimes friends can be soulmates. A lot of times. So you may have a friend that is actually one of your soulmates. This is a friendship that will last forever. Maybe this friend has some information that will help you. Because you're supposed to seek out some information. You may be feeling unclear. You may be feeling like confused or there's something that you can't see there's somebody that can help you by the looks of things you are going to be successful because you're a hard worker so what are we what are we you're going to be achieving success you may be you may be worried with this muddled unclear thinking you may be worried that you're going to lose a friend or that you're going to lose a connection with a friend because your life is changing I don't see that being the case. So what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Your life is going to be changing for the better. You may be feeling unsure about it by the looks of things, but this change is going to bring you success. It may not be easy, but I 
I feel like with I feel like there's a lack of emotional content here, okay? There's withdrawal, you know, emotional withdrawal. You could be feeling very emotional. You may, may be having a hard time communicating with somebody. There could be a lack of communication, a lack of cooperation, a lack of teamwork, a lack of togetherness. You may be dealing with somebody that is emotionally withdrawn or you're emotionally withdrawn. These readings can always go vice versa. Um, you may be feeling like somebody doesn't have good intentions, you know, or you may not be... Uh, you may tr be trying to think too much. The opposite of the Queen of or the King of Cups is the is King of Swords. So if it's if you, you, you maybe you're being overly logical, you know, maybe you're not. You definitely not. There's unclear thinking here. There's definitely unclear thinking. Very emotional. You're not mastering your emotions very well. You need to master your emotions. Maybe there's a need to cooperate. Maybe there's a reason. There's a reason why things are changing. You need to have faith. You need to have trust. That three of pentacles reverse is really not working together, not on the same page. So you you may feel like you're not on the same page with somebody, but that could just be your emotions, right? Because there's unclear thinking here. You may be just thinking that you're not on the same page with somebody. And you may be thinking, I feel like you think that you're going to lose a friend or something like that. Um... Not being logical. I think I, I feel like you're not being logical. Ooh, there's love here. Ooh, Queen Queen of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Pentacles reversed is very stubborn, jealous, possessive, um, unstable, insecure. You may somebody has some insecurities here. Now, the Ace of Cups is usually a new start in love, or it's love, or things getting better. Things are going to get better. But we have somebody here that is very stubborn, extremely stubborn, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Unwilling to budge, unwilling to give. So we have somebody here that's unwilling to give. And maybe that's why you're, you're feeling so emotional. I do see emotions here. Um... There could be somebody that is not giving to you because, I don't know, maybe there's another opportunity. There's another opportunity for love. You know what I mean? They may be starting a new love partnership. Just, I'm just, I mean, that's, and maybe it's you. Could This could go vice versa. There is love here. Somebody's not giving anything because of love. You know what I mean? There's, they could have another love. It could be self-love. It could be self-love. But there's insecurity here. There's some sort of insecurity, uh, possessiveness, uh, not willing. <laughs> I mean, I know who the Queen of Pentacles is. This is somebody who is not willing. Um, ooh, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is lack of faith, lack of commitment. I feel like... Um, you really need to listen to your gut. There's a lack of of listening to your gut. There's there's okay. There's this is lack of intuition. This is lack of following your gut. Somebody isn't listening to their gut. This is gut as well. They're not listening. They're not listening. There's an opportunity for love here, but somebody's holding on to something. There's an opportunity for happiness, put it that way, whatever kind of happiness it is. But there's there's some sort of um, having a hard time doing the right thing. Somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing. They're, they're being controlled by society. They're under a lot of social pressure. Not really communicating. There's a third party here for some of you. I feel like there is because of that three of pentacles. There's a third party here. And so it feels like there's there's somebody that doesn't have good intentions and there's ignoring it. Needing to be honest. I don't see any truth here. Okay, I don't see any honesty here. I don't see any, any of that. There's lack of um, emotional content and there's lack of reality. So somebody's... Uh, it's very emotional. They may be in their emotions. They may be in their feelings. They, there could be a flood of emotion. It's very, very emotional time. And I feel like it's emotional time because we. Ha it feels like there's a commitment that 
I don't know what this commitment is. It feels like this, there's relationship problems, whether it's with a friend, it could be with a lover. Okay, there's some sort of relationship problems. There's somebody here that is more focused on everything but love. And, and then we have another person that is, it feels like they're unwilling to see it for what it is. Wow. Wow. Very insecure. We have somebody here that is very, very insecure. They're unstable. Um, need discipline. Somebody needs to find their discipline to realize, to get out of their emotions. They need to realize that they're fine on their own. You know, this is, this is lack of self-worth, lack of self-value. And this one is too. So we have somebody here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Is not enjoying life like they should be because they're too they're too focused on something that isn't really working out, which is interesting. Because that's a lack of togetherness, a lack of teamwork, a lack of cooperation, not a relationship that is not on the same page. We do have a relationship that is on the same page. And with this Wheel of Fortune card, that is, you are destined for change. You are destined for love. You're destined for emotional fulfillment. But you have to master your emotions and find yourself discipline, your self-worth. Okay? Somebody is holding on to a broken relationship. And this is holding on very stubbornly holding on to something. There is a friend that can help you. There is a friend and this person is somebody of the same sex that can help you. This person can help you to see your value, to see your worth. If you could listen, I feel like there's a friend that has some advice for you or has been trying to give you advice and you're unwilling to listen. No way. This is unwilling to listen. Seriously. And it's because emotions, having a hard time mastering emotions, are very, very emotional. Hmm. We, we have somebody here that is very, very secretive. They're not really communicating. They're not really communicating. No, they don't want to be in a commitment. You know, somebody doesn't want to be in a commitment. They may just want to be alone. You really need to listen. Both these cards, listen. If somebody isn't communicating with you, if they're not giving you anything, if they're not cooperating, you need to take care of yourself. You, you shouldn't be giving them your, your love. If they're not reciprocating, you need to be honest. There's a lack of honesty. There's no swords here. There's a lack of honesty. Clinging to the past. Somebody's clinging to the memories of the past. That's what that is. The Six of Cups are clinging to somebody from their past. And it is seriously time to let go. Nothing stays the same. That Wheel of Fortune is, is fate. It's destiny. It's time. It's time for you to go in another direction. Know your value. Know your worth. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is more interested in money and financial stability than they are a commitment or a relationship with perhaps you. There's definitely um, financial instability here as well. 
okay? Somebody is in, maybe in a, a financially unstable uh, job, okay? There, there could be, you know, a decrease in money here. And that could make you very emotional. There's not any work. You know, so there there could be a loss of financial, I don't know, money. There could be a loss of money here with the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You could be working for an organization, or you may have worked for somebody that is under a lot of social pressure and they just can't pay, or they don't, they need to make a cut or something like that. There's definitely a, a loss of or a lack of financial stability here. Okay, somebody may not, I don't know, uh, you know, they could be a, hopefully not, but no work. That's what I see, there could be no work. And that could be making you feel insecure. Um, either way, that Six of Cups reverse is packing up, leaving home, freedom from obligation. You may be set free. You may be set free from something and you may be dealing with somebody that just doesn't care. You know, somebody that doesn't care. They don't care about your feelings. There could be a lot of tears that are shed. Maybe there is packing up and leaving home and it's emotional. Or, and home can be a job because wherever you work, if you work at the same place on a regular basis, that's your second home. Okay. Um, so I do feel like for some of you, this has to do with work because we have this card. You have another opportunity here that can be emotionally fulfilling. You absolutely do. But it feels like you're so stubborn. It feels like you are so stubborn and so stuck in your ways that you're unwilling to explore new avenues or learn new skills. Three of Pentacles upright is about learning new skills. Are you teachable? Making new friends, perhaps. I feel like I feel like there's a need to refocus. All right, there is. There is a need to refocus and a need to master your emotions. If there's something that you are clinging to, which I absolutely know that there is, you need to find your discipline and your willpower and your self-worth and your self-value to break free from it. You need to let something go. It's something that you've known. It's like, I've always known this. You're something you feel familiar with. It's no longer part of your path. It's not. Happiness. This is the end of a relationship. That's what tens are. Tens are completions. I know a lot of people forget to mention that. It is. This is the end of a relationship, but it leads to happiness. And you may not see it. I don't think you do. With this muddled, unclear thinking, you don't. You don't see. You don't see through the darkness. It's sort of for. It's dark in the forest. You don't see through it. There is an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. A lot, but you have to be uh, willing. You have to be willing. You have to be willing to let go of something. Your past. You need to be able to, definitely. And it's like, I'm unwilling to listen to anybody's advice. This is, I don't want, I'm not listening to any, if you can't listen to anybody's advice, then you're never going to learn things because we learn from other people. We learn from experiences as well, but we do learn from other people. We have somebody here that is very spiritual, that is, um... I don't know if it's a counselor, it could be a counselor, it's somebody that it could be a mentor, could be a teacher. It's like this person has some sort of information for you and you refuse to listen. Stubborn as hell. So anyway, you do have a new opportunity for love. You absolutely do. Something that could be very emotionally fulfilling, but you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it and it's because of the past. It is absolutely because of the past.
This is let go. I'm telling you what. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Is let something go that you have been holding on to. I don't know if it's a job or it's money or a person. Could be a relationship. Because this is a relationship. This is a relationship. So somebody needs to let go of something that is not stable. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of reciprocation. And I feel like there's another person Okay, three is a crowd. So I feel like this week your life is changing. I feel like um, you need to be grounded. You need to be grounded. You're very ungrounded. You're be somebody's not being realistic. You need to. You need to. We need to be grounded. Um, oh, there we go. Fell out strong. Be strong. There is another woman for some of you. Okay, there's another woman here because we have two women. So there's another woman. Somebody, whoever you, somebody in, some, there's another woman. There is a woman here. Could be a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's another person. Okay, but looking at this as an energy, you need to be strong. You need to find your willpower in your discipline to hold your head up high and turn your back on the past. Turn your back on the past. Seriously. There may be somebody from your past that is very, um, well, this could be the person, somebody that you grew up with. There could be somebody that you grew up with that can help you as well. It's a friend. Like we saw the friend card, wherever it is, deep friendship. There is somebody here that can help you. They can help you get through this hurdle, whatever it is. could even be a family member. It could be a sister. I feel like it's definitely a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do. I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the earth sign. I think it's the fire sign because at the very beginning of the reading, I wanted to mention it. That it was a fire sign. So I do feel like it's a fire sign. I feel like we, we, there's some sort of instability here, not wanting to be alone. It's better to be alone than cling to somebody in the past. Or it's better to fall in love with somebody new and start a new relationship than to hold on to somebody that's not reciprocating. You definitely have another opportunity here. You have an opportunity for happiness. There's no doubt about it. With somebody that um, is very passionate. It's somebody new. It is. Whether this is a friendship or it's a work situation, you have a new opportunity here where you can uh, be yourself. So anyway, Libra, I feel like this is a week where you need to find your strength and I think you're going to be. And I think there is help from a friend. I think there is a friend that is going to pump you up in some way. I feel like this friend is going to help you with your self-confidence and your self-esteem. Self they have something that, that they can give you that is going to help you to let go of something that... I feel like it's been hurting you. It's been weighing on your mind. It's been weighing on your emotions. you know, And you've been having a hard time letting it go. It, it, I mean, the Three of Pentacles reverse is, is, is a relationship that's no longer on the same page. And the Hierophant underneath it in reverse, same thing. Now, there is some sort of, for some of you, there's, there's control from a father figure with the Hierophant reverse. Somebody is being controlled by a person in, a, in authority or a father figure, you know? Somebody that is very controlling, put it that way. We also have somebody here that's having a hard time because of social pressure. They're having a hard time ending a relationship because of society. What's everybody going to say? That's ego. Who cares what everybody says? 
We all change. Everything changes. And that if that it says it in this card, in this card. Okay? Everything changes. Somebody is clinging to the past. And it's definitely time to move on. They're going to be trying to push you in a new direction. Don't stick your foot in the wheel. You have a very exciting opportunity coming to you. You do. Don't throw it away. Here it is, your exciting opportunity. This is this is an offer or an invite from something or someone that is very well suited for you. But you have to be positive. You have to be optimistic. Good news is arriving. But I feel like you need to stay focused. You need to stay focused on the future. I feel like you started something some time ago, okay? A long time ago. And now it's finally coming to fruition, right? You need to take a new approach. There is something that is well suited for you that is about to burst into your world. Just go for it. Don't hold yourself back. This is meant to be. Destined change. So get ready. Get ready for an offer or an invite from somebody that could really change your destination. Change your future. Don't let the past hold you back. It's time to do things differently. You've been doing the same thing over and over and over. It's time to do things differently. There is also somebody here. Maybe it's somebody that you were married to or somebody that you were controlled by that is making decisions for you. You start making the decisions. You tell them who's boss. You take the leadership role. Anyway, Libra, this is definitely a week of change. Something is going to happen fast. It's going to happen quick. So get prepared. You, Some of you may, be, be, may literally be packing up and leaving with the Six of Cups reversed. You may be finding your strength to go your own way. That won't be for everybody. Now, this could be from a job. Okay, it could be from a job, a home, whatever. Um, you do have an exciting opportunity. Do not throw it away. Good luck.